What up, day 118, bro? Yeah, bench. Bench. Uh, I got 205. Gonna do a five by five. We did 225 during the warm up. Just want to load up extra weight. In theory, this is gonna feel lighter, but 225 was. It didn't feel lighter. No, but it moved. We're getting, we're getting better. We're getting better. Technique and holding the stretch is definitely helping. So maybe, uh, so I won't be here next week, but maybe uh, we'll do like a top set soon we'll see how this feels today but we did 200 for a five by six last week and we're added the weight 205 we're gonna do a five by five this feels good the next week we'll do a five by six or maybe a top set or something i don't know we're cruising though we're cruising we're, we're still gonna finish off with the we'll do the last set like stri strip some of the weight off probably like 145 and do some pausing you know some slow eccentric hold the stretch and just be powerful like that. I think that's helped squats, and I think that's helped bench too. So, but thanks for being here. You ready? ready. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Woo. Let's go. My butt came up for some reason. It's like, heavy. Give me a knuckle. It like it like hopped and that like messed me up. But it's good. Good job, dude. Thanks, Tom. Alright, two more sets. All right, round four. Mother suckers. It's feeling strong though. It's not a lot of weight, but we're, we're moving it, dude. We're moving it. Feeling solid. Let's go, dude. Easy. All right, last set. And then, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Last set of this. That's moving great, though. I th I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll talk about it. Either a top set or a five by six with this. I, d I think a heavy top set would do us good, man. Push some heavy weight for a week, kind of like we were doing on squat and deadlift. Just see where our strength is at, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, it's going good. After this, we're gonna drop the weight down, like 140, 145 and uh, do, some, uh, do some pause reps. Gonna attack this like we do squat and deadlift. Just need to, one day we'll do bench three times a week and then that'll blow up. I'm thinking the bulk, dude. Start eating a surplus three times a week. All right, let's go. Let's 
go, dude. Oh my God. This bench finally going up, bro. All right, let's, let's drop the weight down. We got 140 on. Gonna focus on slow eccentric, hold the stretch, and just be powerful. That's it. Oh. oh, shit. God damn. Whew. That was a good finish. <laughs> All right, let's do some shrugs. What up, bro? You're looking big today, oh, bro. Appreciate it, dude. Tired as fuck. I'm tired. Same. Same. Just wait till you turn 34, dude. You're tired all the time. <laughs> so, um, you know, for, for uh, I'm just gonna say a mesocycle for eight weeks, eight, it's been a few months. We've been going pretty heavy. So today we're gonna drop the weight down, do two sets, just complete failure, like 15, 20 reps. Um, we're still focus on the stretch, right? But gonna hold the, hold the squeeze a little bit more, just mix things up, you know? Uh, we're getting close to where we can stop doing this too. Not that, you know, I'm happy with how my traps are. I still wanna get big traps. But uh, they're, they're ahead of the game as far as everything else goes, too. So thinking about conserving energy for other exercises. But yeah, let's go. So leaning forward a little bit, rounding my shoulders, hold the stretch. Sixteen with partials. That was good though. I didn't even count. I first had it set to partials. <laughs> Dude, I got the boat. I didn't even tell him I got the boat. I didn't even pay the guy yet. He trusted me to take it home and was like, "Yo, like, if it runs, cause you gotta the inboard, you gotta connect the. It's like muffs with the water hose. You gotta connect to the prop, or you can like burn your prop up." So he gave me that too, and he's like, if it runs, then you can cash at me 500 bucks. Is it shitty if I just lie and say it don't run and don't yes, pay? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll pay you, I'll pay you. It's really just a cardboard box of flex. Seat. Yeah, here's a picture of it, boop. Um, but yeah, man, 500. I made this joke, a PlayStation 5 costs more than a boat, dude. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Let's hope it runs. He turned it, he, the motor, the, it, it turned right when he tried to start it. He didn't like try super hard, but at least it wasn't seized up. I think it's gonna be fine. We'll Let's see if it. it floats better than PS5. <laughs> Yeah, traps are done. They're done. All right. New angle for the channel. Uh, the whole area where we typically do these at is, is swamped. And we only got one guy doing squats. So we're taking, show them, show them, show them. See, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I just don't know where else to go. So we're in the squat rack. Probably a gym first, doing dumbbell overhead press in the squat rack, but here we are. All right, let's go. Let's go. How we feeling? Good? Chill. He's just jamming. I need better friends, man. 
<laughs> oh, you know what I need to do? And what you guys should do too? Go get your labs tested. Make sure your hormones are, are chilling. Especially if you're like in your mid 30s like me. Probably a good idea to go get checked. I was just telling them I should go get my labs done probably soon. Maybe when I get back from Colorado, I'll get them checked. I don't know how good of an idea it is though during a cut. Cause I feel like hormones might be kind of. Shoot, if my, if my test is low, dude, the natty days are over, man. Well, okay, hear me out. Is that still, so if I, if I let's just say my test is low. I'm just asking to ask. If my testosterone is low and they put me on hormone replacement therapy. You're not natural. I'm still not natural? Even though it puts me in like a normal range. Dang. But I ha if it's low, I have to get exogenous. on it. Yeah. Even though your body makes it naturally. But even though I'm like low and I have like a deficiency, you still you still wouldn't consider me natural. Or would I consider you? Yeah. Like, I know what the judges would say. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I was based on. But, oh, if it puts you in normal range, I could probably like morally, happen. yeah. Like I would I would tell people I do it because it's low, but. I mean, it's not natural. I'm just curious, like, you know well, what I'm saying? How low your fats are right now, I would wait. Unless you just want to game the system. <laughs> you know, give me that test, I'm low. Hey, no shit. It. Like, full transparency. If, if I get my labs done and it's low, I'm getting on testosterone. And I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll be like, this is how much I take, you know, and this is why. But if it's normal, I won't get on it. Uh, I'd do the same. I'd want to get mine done. Yeah. Because, like, low testosterone doesn't just impact your exercise. It impacts everything, dude. Like, your mood. I mean, you can experience, like, brain fog, lack of libido, like, so much. Like, brain energy. Fog. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. It, there, there'll be a day when I do get on some stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to compete naturally. That's the plan, right? It's compete naturally. Do the whole thing. And then uh, get on some stuff later on. I want to build up my natural potential first, so which is still years out, right? You, yeah. The the muscle gain slows down after like year five. It's such a huge range too. Like I've heard ten years too. Really, I've heard like in the first five years, males can gain from like fourteen pounds of muscle up to forty-two pounds of muscle. It just depends on your genetics, right? Mine's kind of screwed because I have small, well, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm not trying to make excuses, but if I had bigger hands and more bone density, like my potential would be a lot higher than it is. That's just, that's just facts, dude. Like you got bigger hands and bigger wrists. Like you're gonna, I don't know. All right, let's go. As if another. All right, how about we do, let's do two more sets. I'm doing 10 reps each set. Let's, let's keep it at 40 reps. That's a lot of volume. What, what, what are you doing, Cody? Mobility training. Is, uh, is your shoulder hurting? Shoulders are overrated anyways. You guys don't need shoulders. I'll trade you my, my knees for your shoulders. Huh? Did you say pinkies? Oh, no, you don't want my pinkies. No, my knees. Oh, knees. You don't want my pinkies. My pinkies are jacked up. We already talked about my pinkies, dog. Look at this. You know about a swan tear. I got no tendon right here. It's, dude, it's jacked up. Seriously. The older I get, the more. So, I actually, fuck, dude. I went to a specialist in Kentucky. Cody, this was like 10 years ago. The dude sitting beside me in the lobby had a bandage on his pinky, and he, he just was like, why are you here? I'm like, well, I got this swan tear. He's like, oh shit, same thing happened to me. And he's like, I got surgery, and he took his bandage off, and he his pins were coming out of his skin, dude. And I, he was like, dude, trust me, don't go through with the surgery. And then you know what I did when he told me that? Yeah. I fucked, I, I left, dude. I'm like, fuck this. Dude, screw that. Yeah, so they, yeah, like, they gave me a, a brace, I don't remember exactly the steps because it's been a while ago, but I remember they gave me a brace and some reason I had to go back in the lobby. I can't remember why, but yeah. So I had a brace and I wore it for a little bit. It didn't do shit. How did it happen again? Football. I was just making a tackle and I just like, I didn't think it was that bad. My pinkies, I thought I just like sprained it or whatever. 
But uh, yeah, it just never healed again. So when I play basketball, like other than shooting like around, I'll tape these fingers up because if not, it'll like dislocate. I've dislocated some because there's nothing holding it. It'll just pop up like that. It'll pop out, and I have to like. No, nah, I'm good. It doesn't feel great, man. What's up, dog? Okay, let's go. Whew. All right, lateral raises. Give y'all a little nipple love. Whoop. There you go. All right, lateral raises. Just like always, man, stay in the scapular plane. We want, well, if you want most of the tension to be on your side, though, stay in the scapular plane. I feel like it's working. Look at those shoulders popping. Cody's just staring at me. Whatever, man, whatever. I know what I'm doing. Got 15s. Okay. Parcels, dude. Those parcels. What you know about parcels? Huh? More than you, those are parcels. What do you call them? I call them swings. You're just swinging them. Parcels don't have to be pretty, man. Shut up, they dude. Let's see your. Let's see. Let's see your parcel. Show them. All right. Partial? All right. Well, here's Justin's parcel. <laughs> All right, I'm not that elegant, first of all. No, oh, come on. Go, let's walk. <laughs> Look at Doug back there. Stud. I don't swing. <laughs> what? One more set. Last set, and we're gonna do some of those uh, single arm rear delt flies. I'll give you a side angle. <laughs> okay. Whew. If your if your side delts ain't cramping after a set, you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. <laughs> All right, let's go do some else. All right, let's go. Rear delt fly. So we're gonna do single arm. The reason being is we can get a deeper stretch, right? S sit sideways, opposite shoulder on the bench, and just stretch out. You know what I'm saying? Dude, those are sick. Nicely done, Cody. Nicely done. All right, one more set. 
studio. Shirt's coming off today. Gross. Gross. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> See you in the studio. What up, fam? It's done. Look, I have a fucking mark from that belt yesterday. Vacuum, dude. Dude, it's getting there. That was way better. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Slowly. Dude, that is so, like, that sucked in way more than it ever has. Yeah, getting there. So I'm like stuck at 224, but I'm like, where? Something's going. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Fucking belly fat jiggling. <sighs> so stupid. It's pretty sick, dude. Get in there, I'll see you straight before I pass out. Woo! What up, what up? It's all done. Dunzo. Done. See you later. Uh, tomorrow's arm day. Best day. Best day. Dude, I'm so happy with the bench. I really feel like it's, I've turned the corner. I mean, it's not a lot of weight. I pushed more weight, but the form is, is feeling good, man. I've really felt that strong, solid connection with my being stable, my core, my lats, my chest, like it feels, it feels great. So I don't know, I'm still debating. We'll see how I feel, but uh, I'm thinking next time, probably do a, either do a heavy top set, just really get, get, my, get my chest used to that heavy weight. Kind of like what we've been doing with like squatting and deadlift. Or I might do like a five by six with 205 and then do a top set. Either way, a top set's either gonna be next time or the time after. Because I think it's good, man. It's good to have variety, and it's also fun to mix things up, and I think it's gonna be great. I don't know how much benefit it'll give me, but I think it's good for your muscles to get used to like heavy weight if, you're, if your goal is uh, building strength or powerlifting, you know? Um, so, but anyway, I'm stoked with it, dude. The, the pause, I'm a big fan of the pause stuff. Like one rep on, you guys have noticed on squat and deadlift and bench. Uh, I think it's great because you're focusing on technique and working, and, you know, stretch, man. Any any kind, any kind, movement, you know, focusing on the stretch position, that's where you're going to make your big your big hurdles too, right? Full range of motion is, is important. Partials are great, you know. Partials are actually probably better than full, full ROM because you're staying in that stretch position. But as long as you're focused on the stretch, man, just... Uh, you make those gains, you make those gains. So I'm so hungry, dude. Like, I'm happy with, dude, because the vacuum, I mean, that's sick, bro. Like, I couldn't have vacuumed when I first started the vlog, so it's so sick, but cutting the carbs out in the morning before I go to the gym, I feel like my energy's been pretty good. It's not really affected my, my lift or my strength, but man, I am so fucking hungry by the time I get out of there. But it's helped a lot because late at night, you know, I still have room to catch up and I can eat and not worry about it. You know what I mean? So been really been really good with a diet this week. So um, but yeah, I'll keep it short and sweet. 
I love y'all. Just make sure you're staying intense and consistent. And uh, um, I'm going to go home and play around with the boat a little bit. Clean it up. Uh, put, the, put the water hose to it. Run the run the motor for a little bit. I gotta get some sea foam and some, uh, you know, get some get some fluid for like the tilt. Yeah, get, you know, grease up the prop and stuff. I got some maintenance I gotta do. But uh, yeah, man, I'm thinking maybe uh, when I get back from Colorado, maybe uh, take it down the water, dude. Do a little do a little test run. I'll bring the video. I'll show you guys. It'd be fun, man. That'd be a fun little video. Take Cody with me, and uh, if it sinks, we'll sink together, man. And it's uh, it's been a fun journey. <laughs> but yeah i love you guys have an awesome day tomorrow's arm day so lots of biceps and triceps and uh, forearms and abs man as the finisher hit those macros keep weighing your food stay intense keep being consistent and uh, uh make sure you know paying attention to that mind muscle connection and working a stretch position man that's it's it man there's no there's nothing nothing fancy about doing this stuff dude that's it all right love you guys have a good day